We have the potential, oh, we still have to do the integral. Oh my gosh, delta V, A to B equals minus integral from A to B of KE, Q over R squared dr. Got rid of all the nasty vector stuff and everything. Now we just do the integral. So this is um, R to the minus two, so you bring it to the minus one, divide by the minus one, which makes that go away. So it's positive KE Q, and then it goes to R to the minus two, R to the minus one, one over R. And it's evaluated from, uh, let's see, R B to R A. So we'll say the points A and B mean at the radius R A and at the radius R B. So you want to evaluate that. Then in the end, the actual potential, K E uh, Q, 1 over R B minus 1 over R A. So there it really is, is the potential difference near a point charge. If you go from any A or B, all you got to do is plug in their two radii here and here times KQ. And that's the potential difference. And it's in uh, a unit, volts. The unit you might think of it being in is what? Is energy per coulomb, right? So you might think of it as joule, you know, energy is in joules per coulomb, or we also call that a volt. Which we abbreviate with V, which is the same symbol we're about to start using for the potential, which gets a little confusing. But in terms of units, V is for volts, or you could call it a joule per coulomb, that's not very common.